All right. There's Walt. Hey, how's it going? Here's me. The video says we're live, so we're live. And it is Tuesday. It is January 22nd. It is 7 p.m. Central Time, which means it is... 8 p.m. on the East Coast? Sure. And it would be what time on the West Coast? Oh, it'd be uh, 6 p.m. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Oh. So now we've got our watches synchronized. Welcome to this presentation for Beauty Launch. Mountain time. Mountain time. There you go. We weren't talking to the friends of the mountain. This <laughs> program is like a blackout for like the Colorado Avalanche hockey oh, team. Gosh. It's not available in Colorado. No, uh, seriously, here we are. We're ready to go. Uh, on behalf of my friends with Jatai International and Jatai Academy, J A T A I dot net on the web, welcome to Beauty Launchpad. Beauty Launchpad, thank you so much for inviting me the opportunity to take over your Facebook page with this live program. We've got Walt for a haircut and a special guest joining us in just a moment, and I've got a lot to cover. I have two primary technical concepts, because we always talk technical. I have some product we want to talk about. I want to talk about business marketing and opportunity. These are the things you've come to know from me and from uh, Jatai and Jatai Academy, and of course from Beauty Launchpad, a whole bunch of people dedicated to providing world-class education, information, content, and quality programming. So, for those of you that have been kind of hanging with me lately, you know that I always start every program with a quick excerpt now from $100,000 Hair Cutter. Be a $100,000 Hair Cutter is the book that introduced in 2018. Uh, it's going to be available for purchase at ISSE Long Beach. Uh, I think 954 is my booth. Uh, it's under uh, John Amico Hair Care Product. But um, $100,000 hair cutter is one idea a day every day for 365 days. So I start all my educational presentations now by checking in on today. And today is what day? What is today? Today? Oh, uh, gosh, the 20. 22nd. It is the 22nd. So let's turn to January 22nd as we do. January 22nd, day 22 with 343 days remaining in the year. January 22nd, use one eighth of clipper insurance. This is a technical cutting uh, tip or trick or technique. And what's perfect about this one for today is I will have the opportunity to demonstrate this technique on Walt's beautiful haircut during the program today. So I won't give you the whole dialogue on it, but I will tell you that very specifically, we will reference this technique as part of Walt's haircut. It's the January 2 technique, 365 days plus a bonus week, plus two bonus chapters. Uh, if you're not coming to Long Beach, you can pick up the book online at ivanzoot.com, or of course it's also available on Amazon. So you've got some choices to get yourself a copy of the book. While we are talking about Long Beach, I got my note sheet here, I do want to reference Jatai and their booth 550. So they're about 500 booths away from me on the floor at the Long Beach show, but 550 is the Jatai booth number. So products that we feature here within the program, you want them, you got them, come see us at Long Beach. If you're Again, if you're not coming to Long Beach, J-A-T-A-I dot net is the website. Uh, and they've always got monthly specials and deals. The current deals run through February 28th. Um, Fuji Paper's a great brand from them. 15% uh, off. Blade Glide Plus, they've got a special on that. And a lot of other great stuff. So we do a little bit of business housekeeping. We do reference and venture that. And by the way, along the way with housekeeping, um, I'm going to be using Feather Switchblade scissors for the top portion of Walt's haircut. And uh, anybody buys the book tonight... Having watched the program, I'm going to throw in a free set of 5.5.5.5.5 switchblade blade replacements for you. So we'll talk about switchblades as we get into the program, but um, let's get into it. Let's talk about hair. This is Walt. Walt, say hello to everybody. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Walt's a regular client of mine. I've been cutting Walt's hair for a while. Uh, he, he grows it out, brings it back, and we take good care of it. Um, we had our little consultation already, which is... One and a half on the sides, layer the top, blend it in. He keeps the side burn short, likes a nice taper on the neckline. We put a little bit of styling product in to finish him up. He will look like this only seven and a half weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Now, when Walt comes in for a haircut, he doesn't come in alone. Walt comes in with Sid. I want everybody to meet Sid. Sid, say hello, Sid. Hey, now, hey, 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 hey. it's appropriate that he's here because he's a hair. You get it? I mean, he's a right. Right. He's getting a haircut. Now, I've never asked, but we're going to find out tonight. The big reveal. I don't know if Sid is Walt's 
mascot, sidekick, friend, brother-in-law, but he always accompanies him for a haircut. And please understand, one of the reasons he comes along is every time we get a haircut, we get an after picture, and we post it on, and Walt is great about sharing it on the web, and everybody chimes in because everybody's a fan of Sid. Most importantly though, people see him and me and the rabbit and the haircut, it builds business. So the message behind it is, whatever Sid's role is in the universe, to me, he's a social media advocate. So how would you define your relationship? Oh, well, I'm the boss, and I tell him what kind of haircut to get. All right, he's the boss. Well, good to know. Happy to have him here as always. Let's get started. Oh. We're going to take a look at this haircut. Oh. Goodbye, Sid. All right. Uh, next strips, as always, paper, keeping him clean. Um, doesn't do any good to put a perfect haircut on a guy if you load his shirt with five pounds of hair. So let's make sure we get him covered up real well, and I'll take you through where we're going with the haircut. I have two concepts I hope to share as a part of the haircut tonight. Um, from a technical standpoint, things I think can be beneficial to you in your haircutting, and I want to take you through those concepts right now. Um, the two concepts I want to bring in, one of them is a technical cutting quality concept, because we're always looking to be doing the best technical work that we can do, and the other concept is going to be an efficiency or productivity concept. And I'll lay that one out when we get to it. But let's get started here. I am going to use, of course, a zoot comb. That is the men's hair cutting multi-tool. It's like the Swiss army knife of men's hair cutting. One comb for every tool I use. I will not put this down until the haircut is over. And I've got my Feather Switchblade 5.5. If you don't know switchblades, these are blades that you can literally switch. You throw them away, you put a new blade on there, uh, and it's like having a brand new pair of scissors for about $10. Fabulous scissors. Now, the concept we're gonna share for this haircut is a concept called reverse blending. The traditional approach to this haircut for many people would be the three-step process of taper the back and sides, layer the top, and blend it together. Taper, layer, blend. Hardest part of the haircut, the blending. What takes the greatest amount of time? The blending. And Ivan says, if something's hard to do and it takes a lot of time, I don't want to do it. I'd rather skip it. So what I want to share with you guys tonight is a concept called reverse blending. Reverse blending is the idea that we're going to go in and we're going to cut the top first. I'll set up my length, I'll do my layering, and I will be sure to layer top dead center down around the head form far enough that I cut into or intrude into the top edge of what is later to become my tapered perimeter. So instead of taper, layer, and blend. Somebody's trying to say something here. Okay, they're having a little bit of video lighting is changing. I can see that. I'm lit fairly well from the one light that I have. Let me change the angle on that light, see if it improves a little bit of that. But beyond that, there's not a whole lot more we can do to improve lighting. All right, um, we're gonna layer first and taper second. By layering first, we eliminate what I call interior contributing weight. And when Walt asked, uh, you know, I, I put a call out for models, Walt said, what about me? I'm like, game on, because I know Walt's not a regular three-week haircut. He gets a little bit longer before we rein him back in, which lets us illustrate this point a little bit better. We've got hair hanging down from above. Traditional approach, if I pick up a clipper and I put a guard on a clipper and I come in from below first, I'm gonna create a very heavy weight line by virtue of the hair that comes down from above, what we call interior contributing weight. Then I have a significant blending process to take that weight away. And what I'm trying to illustrate here, if it's all making sense, is by layering first and cutting into the top edge of what is later to become my tapered perimeter, I eliminate the interior contributing weight. Therefore, when I taper up from below, Blending is a snap. Does that make sense to you all? It sure does. And he doesn't cut hair. If it makes he's a computer guy. If it made sense to you out there and it made sense to him, it makes sense. So that's what we're gonna look to do. We're gonna layer the interior first. So I'm gonna use the wide end of my comb. I believe a lot of men's hair should be cut with a wide tooth comb. It's like their hand, like a wide tooth comb. So the hair will fall and lay and go and do where it falls and lays and goes and does on its own. So starting with a guy, at the top of the head, at the center of the top of the head, and moving from top dead center back to the crown. 
picking up a piece of the previously cut section of my fingers to serve as my guide, levering or angling up just a little bit in the crown, because I don't want to take him too short so his crown is sticking up like the whip antenna on the back of a state trooper's car. Now we're going to come across the front. I call this widening my guide. I created my top center guide, and now I'm widening out that guide on either side of top dead center. Should be pretty clear and obvious, I hope, what I'm cutting. Now I've got a wide guide, I split my guide left to right. We don't shampoo here in the shop too often. We do have the sink, but we typically water bottle. Another thing to keep in mind, and I do have a bottle of it here, is Blade Glide from Jatai. That's a fabulous spray-on, lightweight, leave-in product that aids in hair cutting. It smells it good, too. It smells good, too. There you go. It gives us uh, neat and clean sectioning, even in consistent tension, distribution, and hydration. It's a fabulous cutting aid, not only for razor cutting, but also for scissor cutting, too. So while I hydrate with water, Blade Glide is a fabulous product to aid and assist in quality hair cutting. Helps maintain even hydration so we get consistent tension and distribution. Now, key to the concept of reverse blending is what you're seeing right now. This is me at the side of the head coming past the parietal ridge. At the back here, I'm coming past the curve of the head. I'm coming past the occipital and past the widest point to facilitate that better blending we talked about. Top dead center, widen the guide, down around the client's right hand side. As a right handed hair cutter, I now move to my client's left. I 180 the chair. Previously I stood behind the chair, now I'm standing in front of the chair. Since Walt's got legs in a lap and in front I can't reach him here, I stand astride the chair, that's a great word, astride. I rotate his head slightly. Now that he's looking at my chest, I'm functionally standing in front of his head, giving me the opportunity to pick up my previously cut section, serving as my guide, comb, hold, and cut, comb, hold, and cut, comb, hold, and cut, always looking for a piece of the previously cut section in my finger, serving as my guide. As I comb these sections up, even if you're in the 10th row, you should very easily see, and that's one of the beautiful things about doing this on the web, everybody's in the first row. Isn't that amazing? I'll tell you, the first time I did a live program on the web, it was with an earlier version of a web program. I forget what that app was called. What was that app called? The, the icon was like a map of the United States with a map tag in it, and you could go live with video. It was before Facebook and Instagram offered live video. I forget what that one was called. Anybody know out there in TV land, what was that app we used originally? But Periscope. The Periscope, that's what it was. See, I knew the tech guy would know. That's why I asked you. Um, first time I did a class on Periscope, I think I had 30 people in a room at a beauty school and like 200 watching on Periscope, and I was like, I'm never going to the airport again. It's going to change my life. All right. Step number one, we layered the interior, top dead center down around the head form. Now we're looking for about a one and a half taper on the sides, which means I'm going to start out slightly longer. In this case, I've got a two on here, and I'm going to come in guard your guard. Anytime you're cutting hair with a clipper, with a guard, you've got a fingertip on the corner of the guard. Halfway up his head, if the guard pops off, and he's going to make a horrible face when I say that, if the guard pops off, yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. You're having a bad day at the office. So that's why we do what we call guard your guard, being in physical contact with the guard. That's a two, because I'm taking it up to my blending point. Now you'll notice there is some overhang here, and I don't need to go all the way down to the bottom because I'm gonna tighten him up with a one and a half. Got a little bit of overhang for blending. Now I'm gonna switch to a one and a half guard. Notice sanitation and infection control. The used guard, where'd it go? It went in the sink. It doesn't go back in the rack. We're gonna properly sanitize tools and equipment. Shout out to my friends at Barbicide. And the clients appreciate that attention to detail when it comes to infection control. Now I'm gonna use my one and a half to knock in this perimeter from that two. Here I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. We'll fine tune in just a minute. Notice, I remain stationary and I turn the chair. I reorient the client to my cutting position. Guard your guard. I want to cut on camera so I continue turning him so that you can continue to see what's going on. Stop, pause, wait. Now, here's our second cutting concept. 
As I said earlier, the first concept I wanted to share was what we call reverse blending. Layer first, taper second, get most of the blend much easier because we've eliminated the interior contributing weight. We've done that. The second cutting concept I want to share is a principle called lining early. And this is one of the concepts that was fundamental to my success in breaking the Guinness World Haircutting Records both 10 and 20 years ago. And that is this. Smile and nod with me if this makes sense. A haircut will never look finished until it is lined and edged. Would you all agree with that? You would agree with that? Sure. A haircut will never look finished until it is lined and edged. Park that out there. Next statement. Once a haircut is lined and edged, it will look doneer sooner. Does that make sense? Doneer. Doneer sooner. Thank you. Okay, hey, my show, I get the makeup vocabulary here. All right, and we'll look better sooner. Now, would you agree with this next concept as well? If you cut a haircut that is beautiful, I mean, it's a perfect haircut, it's just an amazing haircut, but the lining and edging is not clean and sharp and nice and crispy, would you agree that that compromises the entire haircut? Sure. Okay, conversely, if you did a haircut that was kind of okay but not great, it was just kind of all right, it wasn't fabulous, if you did a haircut that was just kind of eh, but the lining and edging was sharp and clean and, and crispy and right there, would you say that improves the whole haircut? There you go. So my point is this, lining and edging can make or break the haircut. Therefore, it's fundamentally important to line and edge and line and edge well. And because you can't see the forest for the trees, it's hard to see finished work. Raise your hand. Anybody out there ever been doing a haircut? You ever been doing a haircut, you're doing a haircut, you're doing a haircut, you're doing a haircut, and all of a sudden you realize, oh my God, this was a great haircut four minutes ago. And it's just not a great haircut anymore. It's called overcutting. We tend to do that because we don't know what finished work we're looking for really looks like. So here's my efficiency tip. Cut half the haircut. Stop in the middle. You heard me call time out. Stop in the middle of the haircut and switch tools. Put down your clipper or your scissors Pick up your trimmer and line and edge the haircut in the middle of the haircut. Notice I switch on my zoot comb to the thin, fine detailing and finishing comb on the tail end there. Stop in the middle and line and edge the haircut. Now the haircut's not going to be done, but it's going to look much more done by virtue of having stopped in the middle and line and edge to help us see just what that finished effect needs and wants to look like. So the efficiency tip lining early is the notion of moving the lining and edging from the end of the haircut where it's always traditionally lived to the middle of the haircut. Because now what usually is pretty well visually represented is we've done half of the haircut, we've stopped in the middle, we've lined and edged the haircut, and lining and edging might be 10% of the haircut. So we did 50%, now we've done 10%, that would be 60%, meaning we probably have 40% left if my math holds up. So far, 50 plus 10 is 60, 40 remaining, but the reality is, with the lining and edging in place on the haircut, I really just have blending to finish, that might be 15%. 50 plus 10 is 60, plus 15 is? 75. 75, thereby completing the haircut 25% earlier. A powerful efficiency tip for haircutting professionals. I didn't know so, math was involved. There was math involved, yes. Now you know math is involved. So, now, we've lined an edge. We layered first, we tapered second, we paused, we lined an edge. Now we have to come into blending. We're going to blend the clipper over comb. And this is where our tip of the week comes in, off the $100,000 haircutter book. I'm going to take my number one guard, I'm going to put my number one guard in place on my clipper. With a number one guard in place, I'm going to use the wide edge of my clipper comb, my zoot comb, to simply blend off the weight line. Notice how I do that. Now, by having my number one guard in place, that backs me away, moves me away, moves me one eighth of an inch away from the surface of my comb. That lets me move less aggressively and less progressively. If I slip off the comb and I thump him, at least I thump him with a guard, I've got a measure of protection to allow for better blending. It also softens things. Now, while it's got great hair, it's a little bit straight, it's got a little bit of kick to it, but very, very straight hair, straighter than Walt, would have a porcupiney effect that would be very difficult to blend in. This becomes very easy to blend in. Now, as long as we're showing you really cool techniques to make your life easier, I do want to show you something pretty snazzy. 
Now, we called out that this was a one and a half moving to a two with a blending point for Walt's tapered haircut. One of the key features of the Zoot comb is the snap-on attachment guides or guards. Check it out. You see that? That's the white one. That's three-eighths of an inch. It's equivalent to a number three. I'm gonna snap that on the comb. Now, I can rest that against the head for beautiful blending. That is a guard. Now you can't see it because it's not reflected in the mirror, but Walt just made the face. He made, and now I'm gonna turn him around. So this time you can do it again. We didn't plan for this, we didn't practice this, but I'm gonna say it again. By putting the guard on the back of the zoot comb and serving as a distance regulator, when I come in off the top of the two like that to cut clipper over comb, I simply rest that on the head and a lot, there it was. Did you see it? I saw it. Did you make that face again? Mm -hmm. Do it one more time. There you go. That's the wow you were looking for. Exactly. That, that's why we hire the better models. For Beauty Launchpad and for Jatai International, nothing but the finest talent here uh, as a model for a haircut for a program with us this evening. So that's the use of the guards on the zoot comb to facilitate better blending. We made the blending better by layering the top first. We made the blending easier by putting a number one guard on. That was our tip from $100,000 haircutter. I couldn't have planned it better. It was just January 22nd. We also made the blending better with the attachments for the zoot comb. So we've got three ways here to add powerful support. What you got? Is there more than one guard? Or is it just There's more than one guard. There's a whole set of them that do come with the comb. Yeah, I was just showcasing the number three. The comb is a one on its own, and then you get a two and a three and a four packed in with the zoot comb system. Now I'm going freehand. This is the result of, you know, 30 years of experience. I can go freehand and blend this in. I'm gonna try to do this in such a way that the camera can see as much of this as possible. Coming up off of that one and a half to two tapered perimeter. Don't take him up too high. Based on hair density, head shape, uh, and, and texture, we don't want him porcupining on us. We just want this to look good and to look nice. And I think we're gonna be there. Uh, it always helps to have a model with good hair. It helps to have a model that you know that you've cut before. Uh, this is not the first time that Walt and I have attempted to make this form of uh, men's hair cutting mag magic really happen. So we've layered out the top. We've got our one and a half blended up and in, and we are uh, looking pretty good. I am gonna switch real quickly to a blending scissors. I pick up a blending scissors just for a little bit of fine tuning of the blending on the haircut. Again, the wide teeth, we're working higher up the tooth in our wide tooth side of our zoot comb. Looks nice, looks smooth. Straight hair like this is always a joy to kind of taper and to blend in this way. All right, little things don't mean a lot, they mean everything. Still haven't put this tool down. While we're at it, we're gonna address ears, top of the ear, inside the ear, outside edge of the ear. The little things don't mean a lot. They mean everything. I think I said that already. I'm feeling like a broken record, especially but it's important, older. especially when you're older, but it's important enough to say it more than once. Eyebrows, we always ask. Eyebrows? Sure. Always check. Some people are farming them, other people don't want them. The small end of the comb, comb it down, zip, zip, or comb it up, zip, zap. Now, I don't remember, do we normally trim the mustache for you or do you do that on your own? Um, I do it on my own, but I'd be happy for you to do it. All right, let's just take a look at that. Bottom edge of the mustache, even with the top edge of the upper lip. Sure, sounds That's good. That's how it works. Couple of tips and tricks for mustache work. Balance, stability, and control. This is an accident. If you chunk one end of his mustache, you gotta chunk the other. Not a good day at the office. Comb it down, put your arm on his shoulder, hold your trimmer in one hand and on one hand. Balance, stability, and control. Notice how I do that. I rest it on one hand, and I'm watching. I've got contact, I can feel him. If he's gonna itch, twitch, wiggle, jump, or move, I will feel it before I can see it. Opposite side, since I'm not ambidextrous, I'm not gonna come over here and backhand this side. I'm gonna stay on the side I was working on. I'm gonna shift his head slightly so that I can come across the opposite side, just like that. Again, in one hand and on one hand, balance, stability, and control. Be conscious of the fact that this is not comfortable. They're itching, they're twitching, they're sneezing, they're moving. 
You want to make sure that they are kept comfortable the whole time. Take a moment to separate him from what is his and what is yours. All right. And so one other thing I wanted to catch while I was there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Ah, right there. Double checking the work. Okay. Now we're getting down to the Nathan Body Razor from Jatai, the meat of the program here when it comes to building and growing business. Here's the deal. The ability to clean up sideburns and nape areas with a razor is some of what fundamentally separates barber haircuts from traditional cosmetology haircuts. I can tell you here at a barber shop, we get guys coming in all the time saying to us, this is the reason I'm coming in, is for that straight razor shade that just enhances the haircut, enhances the finish of the work. That's what really sets things apart and makes a huge difference in some of the haircut. So I want to address the tools and the techniques associated with razor edge cleanup because depending on where you live and the laws and the rules and the regulations, this is or isn't available to you, asterisk. Yeah, it is. And here's what I mean. By the way, notice the three-quarter sleeves. Carl's Barbershop, Davey, Florida. Big shout out to my guys. I wore this shirt specifically because I didn't wear the shirt from Andrew's Barber Parlor in East Aurora, New York, outside of Buffalo. So we've got 38 feet of snow in Buffalo, and we've got 80 degree temperatures in Florida, and here we are in Chicago with like a blizzard the other day and it's slow, sleeting and raining and nasty outside. So to bring a little warmth and sunshine in, we went with the Florida shirt today. So shout out Carl's Barbershop and the team down there in Davie, Florida, just outside Fort Lauderdale. Thank you for the shirt and thank you for uh, your friendship. So here we go. Feather's got your nape and body razor. That's this guy right here. Really cool tool. Comes by itself or comes in a kit that includes a 10 pack of blades, and the sample size bottle of Blade Glide. Now, here's the deal. What you have is a specialized blade. And I'm gonna bring it into the camera for you to take a look at it right there. And you'll notice there's a wire wrapping over the top of the blade. That wire wrapping uniquely prevents the razor blade from cutting the person, but does a beautiful job of cutting the hair, and from coming in contact with the client's skin. What it represents for many cosmetology professionals in states where they're not allowed to use a straight razor, it's a loophole that Walt fits in. Who doesn't want that? So here's the deal. We can lather and clean up their edges with a protected razor. Now this is the Nathan body, and we also have our uh, full-size razor blades this is our Artist Club razor, and the Artist Club razor features what's called the ProGuard blade. That's ProGuard right there. It features a blade that has the same wire-wrapped technology, but in a full-size razor handle, both in a folding style, like that, or my favorite, of course, is the Japanese handle, like that. It looks like a butter knife. Easy to use, fun to work with, uh, very manipulatable, I'm making up words again, uh, in the hand. Now some of you will have noticed when I reached for the Artist Club, I picked it up out of here. This is my small size barbicide jar. When I'm done with the razor, soap and water, and then I drop it in the jar, it hangs in there. The blades are thrown away every client, and I cannot make enough of a point about the importance of discarding these blades regularly, properly, and consistently because of the necessity to follow sanitation and infection control policies and procedures. Now, Feather has their little disposal bins. They look like this. They're free with the uh, hairstyling razor kit. They offer one in the three pack of blades. Sometimes it shows them things. Blades go in and they never come out. And that's great. I am also a big fan of these. The regular sharp spin with the big nasty biohazard label on it that really makes a point. I think everybody should have one of these on their station where it's in plain sight and highly visible because it's a marketing tool. It simply says, hey, clients, hey, coworkers, hey, world, I am looking out for me and you and everybody else and protecting everybody here. So the blades, you slide that little notch, you slide that little tab forward, the blade pops out enough to grab it. I never have to handle the blade edge 
and they go away. They go right away in your sharp disposal bin. For more information on sanitation and infection control education, go online to Barbicide.com. Sign up for their free education program, Barbicide Certification. Uh, it's a free educational program. You'll take a little test at the end. You'll pass the test. You'll be Barbicide certified. You'll put a sticker on your mirror and on your front door. It's a way of telling clients, dude, I'm looking out for you, which is important. So. Anytime we talk about razors, we talk about sanitation and infection control. Anytime we talk about feather, we talk about safety. That's the blade tray for my nape and body razor. That's what it looks like in the package. Notice what's going to happen here. We're going to come in. We're going to use the handle to pick up a blade. I don't have to touch it. I don't have to deal with it. It's safely in the razor. Neckline, sideburns, ear areas, also great for etching in hard partings. Excellent for enhancing the details on graphics. You know, if we were going to do like a Chicago skyline on the back of your head in a fancy detailed graphic, which we're not going to do, not because you don't want it, but because I lack the talent to execute it. We won't be doing that tonight, but if we could, we would etch it in and detail it with our Nathan Body Razor in the interest of awesomeness, and uh, it would be pretty awesome. So we're not going to be doing that, but it's fun to talk about it. Lots we can do with that. Now, let's get into product. One of my rules is we don't ever use a product in the shop that we don't have available for sale up front. So, the Healthy Luxury Shaving Set from Jatai is not only perfect as a retail item, but it's perfect as a service delivery product. Now, that being said, and we're going to use this product, we'll talk about it, Daily Facial Cleanser, Shave Cream, and Daily Facial Moisturizer. I do want to talk about hot lather. Now, I turned my hot lather machine on this evening, so it's going to be warm. And hot lather is kind of a really cool part of this experience. But the problem with hot lather is, have you ever bought hot lather? No. no. I... Have I ever sold hot lather? No. Do we have hot lather up front? No. So we're killing ourselves on the money-making opportunity. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do. We're going to use retailable products. This is the shave cream. And it's nice because it stays clear. You can see lines and edges. It's got a, you know, I think it's, it's, it's mild and if it's got any fragrance at all, almost fragrance free. Yeah, a little subtle fragrance. I knew there was something there, but not a whole lot. But a great use item. They're TSA friendly for travel at the airport. Big shout out to TSA. These guys are working without getting paid. They've, I've seen them three times already this year, and I'm going to see them again this week to go to Long Beach. Thank you, TSA. Yeah. We're going to get your paychecks eventually. I know it when the government opens up again. Props, TSA. There you go. So thank you to TSA. But TSA, a bowl. So uh, those people not getting paid can let these through security properly. So we got some good stuff there. So here's my suggestion. And the lather might not be totally warm because the machine takes a little while to heat up. My suggestion is this. Go with warm lather initially. Apply the hot lather, sideburns. It's warm, but it's not as hot as it sometimes is. Sideburns and neckline. Let's turn this around so you can see what we're doing. I hold it in one hand and I apply it with the other. Now, put that on there like that. While it's on there, now is when you're going to get your razor out. Now, while that lather is there, now is when you're going to change your blade. You're going to get a fresh blade on there. Hot lather is doing its thing. It's warm, it's lovely, it's fun, and it's comfortable. And he's loving the fact that we do that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Then we're going to take a steam towel out of a steam towel cabinet. We don't use a cabinet here. We use hot water right out of the tap. And I don't have the hot water fired up. And I didn't want the water running in the background for the noise. But what we do is we roll that towel. We roll that towel. We roll that towel, and I'm going to step out of the frame. You won't see me do it, but I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do it. See the sink over there? I'm going to come over here. I'm going to heat that towel with the hot water coming out of the tap. Okay? Now, it's not particularly hot. We're playing here. We're pretending. So when I put this on Walt, Walt is going to make the ooh and ah face as though it was warm lather. Are you with me, Walt? I am. Thank you for playing along, being a good sport here. It's not going to be cold, but it's not going to be... As... And there goes the light. All right, now, let's see if we can fix that. All right, there's our lighting. All right, Walt's on camera. Lighting is there. Here we are. So we take that towel, we open it up, we fold it in half. Now we set that towel Ah, see? Look, his eyes roll back, he's comfortable, he's warm, he's happy. That's a beautiful thing. 
So we've used the warm lather, we've used the steam towel, we're softening the hair, we're slicking up the skin for razor glide, we're making everything just the way it should be and could be and happy. I'm gonna use that towel to remove the excess warm lather from around here, and now I'm going to go in with my resaleable product. I'm gonna take product, I'm gonna put it in my hand, I'm gonna hand it to Walt. Walt, this is Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Shave Cream. Mm -hmm. It is. Turn it towards you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, they know what it is, I told them what it is. But this is how we would do it with a client. Okay. See, look for that, sniff. What Walt is saying when he sniffs it is, I want more information. Yeah. He's digging in there. Now, I'm gonna apply this product to skin that is already moist, damp, and prepped by virtue of my hot lather and my steam towel. I'm setting myself up for success. So now I'm applying a product that we can talk about that ultimately we can retail to our customer. Now, we've got that product in place. We dry our hands off. We pick up our Nathan Body Razor. And I already mentioned that this enhances the service and the experience. But I also want to mention this can enhance the price. If you've been charging 18 for a men's haircut, and now you're gonna pick up a Jatai Nathan Body Razor, and you're gonna pick up the Healthy Luxury Shave products, and you're gonna to add to what you do and do better at what you do, an $18 haircut is now a $24 haircut. You're adding dollars, you're adding value, you're adding to the experience. So now we come in, apply tension or pressure on the skin, and gently shave. It's important to recognize it's not about how hard you press, it's about the angle. Low angle, light pressure, and simply draw off that shave cream and the hair comes with it. Now, the appropriate way to do this, and I'm gonna share it on this side, but my hand's gonna block it, so I'm gonna turn a little further. Watch what we do, and I'm gonna show you why this is gonna be important in a minute. We use our thumb to remove excess product. We put the excess product on the paper cloth, and then we pull away the hair with the razor, and we wipe to clear the razor. Why is that important? I'm gonna show you why right now. Walt's got a beautiful head of hair. Walt's got some extraneous hair around the neckline that needs to be cleaned up. He's a perfect candidate for this form of enhancement of the haircut. However, I wanna warn you, right there and right there and one over here, Walt has a couple of very, very small, almost too small to notice skin tags. Now, if I catch a tag with a razor, it's gonna bleed. Not good, not professional, not the way it's supposed to work. I need to know those are there. I might not see them. That's where your thumb comes in. That's where this hand is the important hand in shaving. Not this hand with the razor, this hand right here. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna slide it along his neck. And when I feel the surface of his skin, when I feel any irregularity and imperfection, in this case a small tag, I now know that it is there so I can shave around it Carefully, there it is, I missed it. Didn't bleed them, didn't cut them. Now I'm taking good care of a client. Wipe again with that thumb. Wipe again with that thumb. Wipe with the thumb, pull tension on the skin, and look how beautifully that cleans up Walt's neckline. This is a professional barber haircut. This is worth more than a haircut that isn't handled in the same exact way. Tip his head, now notice, when his head is straight forward, if I turn it slightly, I'll tighten up that trapezius muscle and I get a flatter surface off of which I can work. And I come down and I simply pick up that hair with the blade of my razor, sliding, moving, looking, cleaning beautifully and taking off all the hair with my naked body razor. The naked body razor will be soap and water, it will be rinsed, it will be dropped into my barbicide for effective disinfection and cleaning. Now, I've got my towel. I pick up my towel, I wipe up any excess shave cream that might be present, and then I go to aftershave. You guys have heard me talk about this before. I mix my aftershave seven to one. One part aftershave, seven parts witch hazel. I take a bottle of witch hazel, I pour off one seventh of it right down the drain. Witch hazel's cheap. And I fill it the rest of the way with the uh, aftershave of choice. I apply that directly to that same paper towel and I use that on the skin. Feels cool and refreshing, 
feels nice. That is my aftershave on my towel, mixed with witch hazel is a natural astringent, uh, closes the pores, tightens up the skin, feels good, and then afterwards, facial moisturizer. Another item in the Jatai Healthy Luxury Shave Set. I'm gonna hand that to Walt. Walt's had the opportunity to experience two of the products in the Healthy Luxury Shave Set. The third product, which obviously isn't quite appropriate for Walt to experience in conjunction with a haircut or with that neck shave service, the third product is your daily facial cleanser. That's a pre-shave product for somebody who's gonna be face shaving. Ladies, pre-shave can be used for legs, other arms, body parts, you name it, whatever you like. And as I've shared these with Walt, Walt's had an opportunity to experience them. I would finish the service at the front desk now remember, the $18 haircut became a $24 haircut, and then, well, we've had the opportunity to experience these. We do have them in a three-piece luxury set. Regular price on that set is $20. I have that up front for you when you leave. So today, 24 and 20, it's gonna be 44 for you today. Okay. There you go. That's kind of exactly how it works. That's kind of exactly the point with all of this, is to use the products and service delivery, create the experience, create the desire, and I like to say it's telling, not selling. I, don't, I didn't ask him to, did you hear me say, Walt, would you like to buy it? That's called a say no question. Watch how well this works, and this is why we don't do it. Walt, do you wanna buy it? Um, no. That's exactly how it works, more often than not. It's almost like we rehearsed this, okay? It's exactly how it goes. But you heard me, I said uh, 24 for the haircut plus the 20 for this is gonna be 44. Okay. Okay, that's exactly how it works. I'd like to say I trained him, but I can't. He's gotta take full credit himself. He's a natural at this. Next time we need a haircut, I'm probably gonna call him again. All right, let's make sure we've covered all our bases and really touched on every, and by the way, I just broke a rule. The rule is when you hand something to somebody, don't ever take it away. At that point, what I should have done is swap it back for this. Possession is nine tenths. Mm -hmm. Physical contact, he's got it in his hand. Look, he thinks he's Vanna White. He's holding it with the label facing towards the camera. Sid was gonna, Sid's proud of you for this, all right? Um, let's kind of recap, let's talk about what we talked about. Let's see if there's anything we forgot. I've got a whole page of notes over here. Give me a second to move over here. And no, the note page is over here. My notes said, 100,000 hair cutter, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. Remember, special deal. If I look tonight, I'm gonna to throw in a package of Jatai blades with it. What's cool is that's like a perpetual calendar. You just keep you absolutely. Here, you just keep just... reading the book. Somebody, I somebody bought a copy of the book at a show recently. Sent me an email and they said, "Hey, I just bought your book. Where should I start?" Yeah, I, that's what I did. I laughed. I said, "Well, you could start today, or you could start at page one." Or you could start at your birthday. It doesn't really matter. But the beautiful thing about it is a daily devotional. Yeah. One page a day, every day, 365 days. When the year's over, start over again. Because the content, as we like to say in the web world, is evergreen. Yeah. It's good forever. So good point. Uh, we talked about reverse blending. Cut the top first, taper second. Minimize the amount of time, effort, and energy you need for the blend. When we got to blending, we talked about... Clip over comb blending. We talked about the use of a number one guard to ease the process. That's a tip that came out of the book. We talked about the snap-on attachment guides or guards from my Zoot Comb system. Zoot Comb's available on ivanzoot.com as well. Um, we talked about our switchblade shears when we did our layering through the interior. Um, then we got into tapering. Uh, we talked about lining early, that's right. We moved the lining and edging from the end of the haircut to the middle of the haircut to see that enhanced haircut look finished or look, as I said, doneer sooner. So that was good, that was lining early. Then we got into the meat of the Jatai, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web, Jatai Academy. If you're not a subscriber to Jatai Academy yet, that's a big job you've got tonight. Go to their website and sign up. There's quality content being pumped out of there on a daily basis, stuff you're gonna love. Uh, we also did mention the booth number in the 500s, uh, 550 to be exact. Uh, at ISSE Long Beach this weekend. And then we got into the actual nape and body razor work. We talked about Artist Club razors and ProGuard blades. We talked about nape and body razor and the nape and body blade. We talked about its other uses, hard parts, graphics, eyebrow shaping. So many things you can do with that tool. Every professional should have one. We talked about enhancing the haircut with that razor finish. Whether you are a barber professional for whom that is a natural, or whether you are a cosmetology professional for whom we've now 
We created, look at that, that's the loophole, and Walt's head fits right in that loophole, giving you the opportunity to enhance your service in this way. We talked about the marketing possibilities of it, the pricing possibilities of it. We talked about tying it into take home product and everything else. We covered a lot. We're, we're at about 45 minutes here, which is good, but I want to ask if there's questions. I haven't really been paying attention to a lot of the feed here because I've been focused on what I'm doing since I'm flying solo, but does anybody have any questions about anything we talked about? Anybody want to ask about my hair? Kind of working on this mullet thing here. It's coming along real nicely, so thank you for asking about that. Uh, it's kind of got a mohawk thing going on, but it's I'm going for Sonic the Hedgehog. So I'm just going to get this whole thing really long with the side skinned like that. Um, I will be in Long Beach this weekend. I've got my $100,000 hair cutter live class. I've got my, um, uh, the blending uh, men's haircut, the no blend men's haircut. It's this reverse blend concept. You'll see it again in the class. Of course, I will be featuring Jatai and feather, scissors and razors and tools in that classroom. Um, my booth, I think, is 954. My wife's probably watching. If I'm wrong, she'll chime in with a correction on the booth number out there. But a um, ton of great information. Uh, again, a thank you to the, my friends and folks at uh, Beauty Launchpad at Launchpad for hosting this event, for inviting me and my friends from Jatai in to spend this bit of time for you, uh, with you and sharing all this. A big shout out and a thank you to Walt uh, for, for coming out in horrible weather uh, to be this online haircutting experience for everybody tonight. And uh, we would be remiss if we also didn't thank Sid yeah. for showing up. He's here somewhere. And uh, one of the final things we'll do before we wrap this program up is we'll get, and it usually looks like this. We've had Sid holding a zoot comb. We've had him holding a can of clipper side. I think it's appropriate for Sid to be holding the razor tonight. So in the interest of rabbit safety, I'm going to take the blade out. I'm going to put the blade in the sharp bin. Once they go in, they don't come out. So we've got no blade in the razor. How old is Sid? Uh, Sid is about three years old. Yeah, he shouldn't be holding a razor with a blade in it. So we're going to set it up. Uh, nine, what is it my wife said? I knew she'd be there. 964 is my booth number for Long Beach. So this is what the picture usually looks like. And I will, uh, we'll take it when we're done. And then we will, uh, put it up on the web for everybody to see. Walt and me and Zootcomb and Sid and of course Jatai. J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web, Healthy Luxury Shave Set, the Nathan Body Razor. You've come to expect quality tools, quality content, quality education, and quality information from Launchpad and Jatai. I'm Ivan Zoot, and I'm just honored and privileged to be invited in with Walt and Sid to share another great educational program and another great haircut. So we're gonna put a little bit of Firm Hold Styling Gel because uh, we're not done until the haircut's not done, until the product goes in. I'm going to give you that bottle. You're running out of hands to hold stuff with. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put this on here. We're going to finish you up like we always do. And I'm going to say goodnight and over and out. If anybody asked any questions that were not answered throughout the program, I will go into the program tonight and go through all the comments and everything that's there to answer any questions that I might not have been able to answer live. So uh, if you think of anything you need to know, throw those questions down on there now or throw them on when you watch on replay. I will put a link to this on my pages uh, and everywhere else so people can find it. And uh, if I really, if I talk anymore, it's gonna sound like I'm rambling. So I'm gonna end with good night. I'm gonna end with thank you. I'm gonna end with see you soon here on the web in Long Beach or someplace else in the beauty and barber industry. Thank you all. Thank you, Launchpad. Thank you, Jatai. Good night, all. Bye-bye.